We've made it to Nassau. We're here for a night. We're staying at the Orange Beach Inn. The people are very, very nice here. Um, it's an older facility, but uh, we like it already. They're very friendly. Uh, we've got one of these little cottages out front. There's Sue on the deck. Skull. And we're right across from the beach. This is great. Nice weather, too. Happy hour. We're happy. Cottage yeah. on the beach. Yep, it's great. Okay, our bungalow is a green turtle. We're down at one end of the stream of them. There's the ocean out in front. So these things are great. We've got all the utensils, crackers, booze if we need it, wine. Nice bed. Nice big place. Seating to look outdoors. And there's our view, and we have a kayak too. Oh, this is great. Outdoor shower, indoor shower, beautiful setup. We love these bungalows. Putting a crab salad for lunch. Tide at Staniard Creek. There's our golf cart. We just arrived at Kamalami. We're headed out to the area by the spa, which is over the water. Uh, we had some good success here on Pompano last time we were here, and who knows what's going to happen this time. It's low tide, uh, so it's hard to tell where the fish might be. The ocean's kind of calm. There's not an enormous wind yet, which is great. Uh, so we'll give it a try here and see what happens. Beautiful day though. I don't know what it is, but it's the first fish. Ooh, he's fairly, oh, he's off. Wow, fairly strong. Just lost one of my uh, <laughs> hard to tie EP flies to a barracuda. <laughs> No, it didn't have any wire on, so let's go up and see what Sue sees up here. Got a bunch of little snappers, but here what we're looking at are places where bonefish are muddy. Look at all these holes. So I think what we'll do, there was a puffer fish, we'll try to come back at higher tide today. Uh, we fished it in the morning, but they're like that. There's a barracuda sitting there, a small one, but the bones are so spooky in this uh, water. In our little kayak, I've got a, uh, not a clouser, but a uh, deceiver rigged up here. I'm going to throw it over the edge and troll a little bit. Um, I know it's a waste of time, but it's fun. And uh, we've seen no fish here. So this is about as unlikely a prospect as you can have. But there's our little uh, unit. It's the one on the far right. There's a little yellow kayak. That's a two-person one out in front of it. So there's somebody walking on the beach down there. Uh, this is a waste of time, but it's fun. I like being out in the kayak, and we'll just call it good. Don't care if anything happens or not. And if by chance a barracuda takes the thing, <laughs> the fly will be gone in a microsecond. So um, it's an interesting place. Uh, the beach is wonderful. Um, it would be a great place to windsurf very safely or kite, kite board, I suspect. Uh, you're not going to find people here unless they're guests. It's, it's a private island. On. Oops, here he comes. There he went. <laughs> he went right under the rock. I'll bet I lose him here too. They know these rocks. Oh, there he comes out. Oh, come on out. Come on out. Let's see if we can get you out. I'll lose you on that coral for sure. We're finally going to get a release. Boy, do they have sharp teeth, these little snappers. I guess that's why they call them snappers. Let's get him loose. There we go. The true yellowtail snapper. Boy, there he goes. Who's a beauty? I don't think it's big, but it's... Oh, look at the size of that little thing. And he swallowed the god darn fly. Okay. Behind basically about where my rod's pointing. 
it was full of fish and I had really a lot of success there on various types of snappers and a couple of bigger fish that I have no clue what they were. Also lost a couple of flies to barracuda. Right now, these are the flats we normally fish for bones. And a uh, group just went by me that way, another one by on that side, and they're both spooked by me. So, no luck yet. It's still a little early. Um, I think I'm due home in about a half an hour, however, so we can fish someplace else. Normally, where we're catching fish is right in these uh, mangroves. It's about six inches of water when it's, when it's a little higher. But the tides still got a long way to go, and I don't know if I'm going to have enough time to wait these fish out. But we'll hang out here for a while. With luck, I'll get a picture of them and maybe a hook into one of them when they go by. Ten minutes without a sign of a fish. All these flats fill up with water, so we're really early into this. The tide shifted again for an hour, an hour later, so I don't think I'm going to be able to stay here until it gets deep enough. But uh, I've been practicing my blind casting. I'm not sure I like this. Oh, there's a bone right there. There's a loner of a boner. <laughs> Let's see if we can shut this down and maybe get a fly in front of it. Um, kind of looked at the fly a few times, but that was it. Um, what we're using here, I, I don't know if the camera will pick this up or not. We've got a, a new a reel line. There's a 10-foot uh, sink tip. It's a slow sink tip. And then on top of that, I've got 9-foot a liter. Then you get a blue section that's 20 feet long, a peach section that's another 20 feet long, and if I tip my rod down and I've got about 50 more feet out, I've got 75 feet of line I can throw out fairly easily. Of about a dozen that are running away from me up there, I finally spooked them. I don't know what it is, but it's the first fish. Ooh, he's fairly, ooh, he's off. Wow, fairly strong. Okay, here's our first release, a little snapper, but at least it's a release. Played a couple other ones, haven't landed anything else yet. Thank you, Mr. Snapper. Just lost one of my uh, <laughs> hard to tie EP flies to a barracuda. <laughs> no, it didn't have any wire on, so let's go up and see what Sue sees up here. We don't know what these things are, but they're soft. They're not pufferfish. On the shoreline here. Wrong, it was a puffer fish. Boy, is he cute. Reminds us of one of our dogs. There he goes. <laughs> oh, God, that's funny. We're at the Tiki Bar, which is where they're now doing lunch here. There is a hamburger, the likes of which you're not likely to see often. Okay, we had a rather indifferent lunch compared to what we're used to here. Um, besides that, uh, Sue opted out of this afternoon's fishing. We've got about an hour and a half until high tide, so we're going to try to catch uh, the fish coming in to the flats back here. Hopefully, maybe a bone fish or two, and you never know. We'll find out shortly. Well, I snapped a big one off a few minutes ago, and now I've got a small one on, but it's a lot better than nothing. Bless you, Mr. Bone. I really needed something like you today. I did. Get you. Let's get you loose. Thank you. You made my afternoon. It's happy hour. Sue's looking gorgeous as usual. There's a bird. He's hungry. We don't think he likes us. And we have a Murphy Good Sauvignon Blanc, some cheese and crackers, and a beautiful evening. Okay, it's the start of day two. Um, I'm heading down the beach to uh, this little point down here. Uh, probably not going to be anything but a little fish snappers maybe, but uh, we'll get a start there anyway. We'll head back down to the uh, spy area structure shortly and then uh, hopefully catch a nice barracuda and maybe some more snappers. There's the first fish of the day, a yellowtail snapper, and I think he took it deeply. Let's be careful when we get it out. Yeah, that's different for the day. Okay, everything's been small. The little mutton snapper, I think. Uh, they're roaming around in these little weed beds here by the shore, but it's uh, it's better than no fish at all, I guess. So. There's something we don't see every day. Oh, fascinating. Little crabs. Tons of them. <laughs> I can't imagine their mother hatched him right here, but... 
<laughs> That's crazy. Parkley Day. Um, I just put an EP fly on with some wire. We're going to hope we can catch a barracuda out under this structure. Apparently there's a six foot one laying there, but I'd be happy with two foot. That would be just fine. It's very pretty in here up by the uh, main lodge. Uh, really a very narrow corridor of palm trees. It'll keep the place nice and shady and cool. Uh, very much like Alphonse in a different way. Okay, this is a view of the uh, flats surrounding Staniard Creek um, at low tide. You can see a little ribbon water right here. Um, it's still very shallow. I'm trying to get a picture of this when the tide comes in. It's amazing how it fills up. We're back in the tiki bar for lunch. <laughs> There's a click. There's the ocean. It's a nice day again. We're hoping to catch some fish eventually. Oh, I don't know what this is. Boy, is it pretty. Look at this. It's a color. It looks like a trolley, but I don't know what it is. Great big snapper just followed it and tried to catch it. Thank you. Here we have the plants at higher tide. It's called a some kind of seafood tower. Shrimp and crab tower. And this is a flounder with asparagus and a dipping sauce. And that's you taking a picture of the flounder. <laughs> we just had dinner. It was kind of a winter. Now we're watching the sunset over the horizon. Now we're jigging off the dock. There's something chasing a barracuda. He's, the barracuda's got my fly in his mouth, and I don't want to bring him up here. I don't want to have to try to take the thing out, but I'm going to have to, unless it pops off when I try to lift him. Oh boy, here comes Sue's double. They're both snappers. Good luck, Sue. <laughs> A double. Oh boy, what fun. Supper into the great room. Supper, birthday supper, lobster pofferdell, lobster Caesar. Boy, is this a beauty! Wow, that's a lot of lobster. Fly, cork, fly! Yay! This means Sue's pouring. She hates champagne. <laughs> Except on her birthday. <laughs> Bubbly. Bubbly is. Sue got the cork. She's going to be cork shortly. <laughs> okay, this is our last night on Kamalami. But next year, if we come back, I think the camera can pick up that island out there. What we're going to do is take one of these two-person kayaks out there and have a picnic lunch and probably catch a whole bunch of fish.